Born under the air sign of Aquarius on the 11th of February 1920 in Kansas, USA, John Schnabel was an actor, entrepreneur, miner, and reality TV star. He is probably best remembered for his role in the hit Discovery TV show, Gold Rush, depicting several families as they work hard to find gold in the rivers and streams of Alaska, USA. The series is one of the staples of Discovery Channel, and John was its centerpiece. In addition to his mining endeavors, he was also a pilot during World War II and an avid bridge player who competed in several national tournaments with great success. John passed away in 2016. John was born into an American family in rural Kansas. His father owned a large wheat farm on which John began helping him at an early age. There is no conclusive information about his mother, but it's highly likely she was a housewife. In the 1920s, the entire Midwest region of the U.S. was struck by the Great Depression. People were losing their jobs, and John and his parents were right on the brink of survival. They lost the farm, so his father decided to produce moonshine, an illegal form of whiskey made out of corn mash. Just to make ends meet, the prohibition period during which all alcohol was outlawed lasted from 1920 to 1933, and farmers like John's father were constantly targeted by the federal government. Eventually, they were on to him, so he was forced to flee Haines, Alaska in 1932, and young John was left to take care of his mother by himself, which forced him to mature much earlier than the majority of his peers. So, at the age of 12, John got a job as a paper boy. Using his first salary, he bought his mother a loaf of bread and a block of cheese, which at the time was considered a luxury due to widespread poverty. John also worked several jobs to make ends meet and to try and save some money. In 1939, he followed in his father's footsteps and moved to Alaska, reaching the towns of Haines on a steamship. During these seven years they hadn't seen each other, his father had founded and began operating a sawmill. So John joined the family business immediately. Everything was going well until World War II broke out. After the attack on Pearl Harbor, he joined the U.S. Army Air Corps and served to 1946 as a mechanic and then pilot. Given the fact that he was just 26 years old, this change caused him to reconsider his choices in life. With money from his service career, back in Haines, John bought a percupine mill in 1946 and modernized it to eventually produce 10,000 feet of broadwood every day. He subsequently expanded by launching a hardware store. And as a noted member of the community, he was elected mayor of the town, although dates are unknown. In the early 1980s, John had to undergo triple bypass surgery, apparently because years of stress, but the lack of physical activity. He was advised to exercise if he wanted to stay alive. So John switched his attention to land, and in 1984, brought a property in Percupine Creek. Initially, he took his five children and many more grandchildren there during the summer. However, John subsequently discovered gold there, and so he launched the now legendary Big Nugget Mine and started mining. It turned out the area was almost filled with gold, allowing John to earn a lot of money in the later years of his life. He became renowned for his intuition too, with several instances of him finding as much as five ounces of gold on the property in just one day. What started as a way to stay in shape turned into a successful business venture, and John was ready to capitalize on it. In 2009, Discovery Channel approached Nabel and his family with an idea for a reality show. The concept involved several families and gold mining teams with the focus being mining as much gold as possible during a 12-month span. John loved the notion of showing the world how his business worked 
And thus, in 2010, Gold Rush was born, which turned John from a successful businessman into a global TV star. Fans loved the fact that he was so humble and soft-spoken, but also fiercely competitive and intuitive when it came to making important business decisions. The show is still running and is currently at nine seasons, with almost 250 episodes. During season two, John had a heart attack, but survived. However, in 2013, he was diagnosed with prostate cancer, which prompted him to hand over the reins of Big Nugget Mine to his grandson, Parker Schnabel. Even though John's health was rapidly deteriorating, he was still involved with the show. Parker once said, Even though I was running the mine, Grandpa would call me every day and give me valuable advice about how to run the business. He was an amazing man. During season four in 2014, John appeared in the show from time to time with his iconic smile and sense of humor. Sadly, old age caught up with him and he passed away in his sleep on the 18th of March, 2016 from congestive heart failure in Auckland, California. He was 96 years old. He was survived by his wife, Emra Dreyer, who he had married in 1950, their five children and numerous grandchildren. His life and legacy were honored during a special episode of Gold Rush called Remembering John Schnabel. His entire family, team members, and fierce rivals paid homage to the man who lived an exciting life and inspired millions around the globe. According to several authoritative sources, John Schnabel had a net worth of approximately $5 million in early 2016 at the time of his death. His generosity limited his wealth, amassed through clever business decisions, with profits ranging in millions of dollars on a yearly basis. His story inspired many current mine owners to buy property in Alaska and take their chances with gold mining in the region. Thank you for spending some time with us. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos which we recommend you watch next. Or head over to celebrity.money for the most detailed net worth articles on the market. Thank you for being with us and we'll see you back tomorrow.